Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Jesper and in this video I'm going to talk about hypervitaminosis D, which is also known as vitamin D toxicity. Basically, it's when you have too much vitamin D in your body. So this is a condition that develops when the body receives too high doses of vitamin D. To understand the negative effects and symptoms that can occur with vitamin D toxicity, let's quickly summarize how vitamin D works in our body. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, and the way we get vitamin D is from either the sun or from our nutrition. If it's from the sun, our skin synthesizes vitamin D3 from a compound already present in the skin. That compound, which is already present in the skin, is called 7-dehydrocholesterol. And this compound, when irradiated with UV rays, forms vitamin D3. So to remember that, I think about when we get sun rays, it causes cholesterol to produce vitamin D. Another option is to get vitamin D from food sources. Examples of these food sources are fish, grains, several vegetables, and also, of course, supplements. However, we need to note that the active form of vitamin D is 1.25 dehydroxyvitamin D. And to get to this active form, first it needs to be converted in the liver to another form, which then is converted in the kidney to the active form. For completeness sake, let's just mention detail that vitamin D3 will be converted first in the liver to 25-hydroxyvitamin, and then in the kidney it will be further converted to the active 1.25-hydroxyvitamin D3. The next high yield point we need to know is that vitamin D has a direct effect on blood calcium levels. Vitamin D stimulates processes such as calcium absorptions in our intestines, as well as calcium resorption in the distal renal tubules. So essentially, if the vitamin D is very high, calcium levels in the blood will also rise. And then also, if vitamin D levels are low, calcium levels will fall. So prolonged exposure to very high levels of vitamin D can lead to severe hypercalcemia, which in itself is a risk factor for kidney stones, and many other diseases which we will talk about. Also important to note is that hypercalcemia in young infants may lead to a buildup of calcium in the viscera of the kidneys. This is causing something called nephrocalcinosis. This can in turn reduce the function of the kidney and damage them. Important to note is that kidney stones is not the same as nephrocalcinosis. In nephrocalcinosis, calcium is deposited in the viscera of the kidneys, while in kidney stones, it is formed in the renal collecting system and therefore kidney stones are movable units that may lodge anywhere along the urinary tract. Let's talk about the most common symptoms now of vitamin D toxicity. Also note that the most of these will be due to the co-occurring hypercalcemia, meaning that the blood has way too much calcium. Cognitive changes such as reduced mental alertness, confusion and apathy can all sometimes be seen. GI upset, such as vomiting and abdominal pain, can be seen. Also increased thirst, increased urination, as well as co-occurring dehydration can be reported. Other serious long-term effects worth mentioning are cardiovascular changes, including ECG changes, hypertension, calcification of large vessels, such as the aorta, and also kidney damage and kidney stones can occur. So let's summarize and say that the effects are many and organ systems are affected are neurologic, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, urinary tract with the kidneys. Treatment focuses on stopping all potential supplements that may contain vitamin D or calcium. This is because it usually is a result of taking too much vitamin D supplements without proper monitoring by a physician. To correct severe hypercalcemia that may be co-occurring, calcitonin and biphosphonate drugs can be used. The way calcitonin works is by reducing bone breakdown of calcium as well as reducing the kidney's calcium reabsorption. In certain cases where the kidneys are very damaged, hemodialysis may be needed, but this is luckily rare. 
That was it for this short video. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. And if you find these videos helpful and you want to watch more videos when they come out, then please press the subscribe button. Thank you.